Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all that you do. We got a we got a nice comment from Stephen Boucher. He says, "Lovely, what wonderful energy!" And I love the smile Pepe has discovered. <laughs> <laughs> That's fabulous. Thank you. Well, you're fabulous. Uh, we're all excited to hear about you and how you you started uh, with your dream. I know you started early on at the age of three. <laughs> you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, I just wanted to comment that if, if you think I'm fabulous, then, then you're fabulous because it takes one to know one. I'm talking <laughs> to all of you out there. <laughs> well, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, just, um, you know, it just it's just one of those things. I don't know how I knew it. I mean, I jumped up on my godfather's boxing ring and, and clowned around and and they started laughing and I tried to do the same thing over again. It didn't work. So I realized it, it, uh, it only works the first time. Um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Although I, they asked me about it and I realized that really, really remembering when that happened, it was when I was six years old of repeating something. Okay. And when I fell down and, and hit myself on the chair and the whole family was around the table. And they all ran to me, and I, and I wiped it, and it was ketchup from, and I said ketchup, and then they all the whole room, and so then I I did it again, and then it didn't happen, it didn't laugh, so then I knew, yeah, yeah, not got the knee, you know. So anyway, but yeah, so just uh, uh, I just don't know what it. I always wonder what it would be like not to know what 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 you wanted to do you know mm -hmm. with your life because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, i always i've always known wow that's amazing well you know that's funny because i think a lot of times when um going going to college or you know even growing up sometimes we don't we don't give it a thought because maybe our parents don't talk to us about it and we just you know we just figure, well, let me just get a job where I'm just, you know, uh, making money to pay the bills. And I think sometimes we do that in life. We we might just get a job yeah. to pay the bills. And I've had the, a lot of jobs in my life, Pepe. So, <laughs> but you knew early on, and I'm jealous because you knew early on. <laughs> but I'm happy because because since you knew early on, you were able to do so much at an, at an earlier time. And so uh, our, uh, my message to anybody is if you can't start early or talk to Pepe. <laughs> the, 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 the trick is, is that if you don't know, it doesn't matter because just so long as, as you're enjoying your life while you're doing yeah. whatever yeah. it is you're doing, that's, that's all that, that's all that matters anyway is, is, is your view on the world. So mm -hmm. if if there's something negative out there that we uh, um, that we perceive as negative, forget mm -hmm. about it, man. Make it positive. You know that's that's on them. For us, we just keep it uh, keep it. I was telling you about Doctor Quinones that I just met this weekend, and he mm -hmm. said hope is much more powerful than fear. Mm -hmm. So. And so a lot of people might say, no, no, man, it's fear. But if you turn it around and say, no, hope is, then hope is. <laughs> it's it's the way that um, our superpower called the brain has us think, right? Yeah, so yeah. We can, change, we can change our thoughts. And I think that's the thing. Change our thoughts. If we see that we're getting into the negative mode, take it out of there. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about, he's a neurosurgeon, and he was talking about, that our brains have more neurons and I forgot what he was saying. I mean, what, what he was uh, uh, relating it to, but it's incredible. Uh, and of course we know it, but, but we really don't realize it because it's just our brain, you know, and, and we're just, we're just humble and we're just a poor little Mexican or we're just a, a, a rich little uh, uh, Italian or we just, whatever it is that we, that that we're born into mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes it's hard to uh get out of the get out of our, our get out of our own way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right but it i mean what you've done have 
how you've come on to this. Wh where did you grow up? I grew up in Northern California. So um, I grew up during the Chicano movement, uh, you know, with Viva La Raza and Huelga, all of that, uh, with the farm workers um, in Hayward, California. So my, uh, we were close to Union City and uh, it was at a time when um, Cesar Chavez was around and people really wanted to find justice in, in the world. And things were starting to change. You know, things were starting to change. You had the Black Panthers, you had the Brown Berets, you know, all of these, uh, all of these different uh, types of uh, groups trying to make a difference. And they actually did, you know, there was some things that happened along the way, but it's interesting. It, it was an interesting time in life, you know. Yeah, it, the music was good too. I loved the, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, man, it was, uh, and and uh, the contact about, I was nice. Uh huh. How about you? Where were you? Where were you born? Uh, this uh, is your interview. <laughs> no, it's Corpus Christi. No, but the thing is, is is my interview. But but it's it's everything I've I've ever done. Is that it, it's more exciting. For everybody, when when it's uh, when it's everybody's story, it's I am everybody's story. Whatever I've done, I've just I've done. But my book and my documentary that that premieres in two nights. Oh man, what, it's going to be exciting! But I was telling them, I, I, I was telling you about being at the National Hispanic at the Hispanic uh, um, the the United States Hispanic Leadership Institute, mm -hmm. Dr. Juan Andrade was uh started teaching i think it was in 1971 in carrizo springs or mm -hmm. christmas city one of those two and and he saw that the kids didn't had blank looks on their faces so he realized he started teaching in spanish mm. the third day there was a knock on his door and it was the principal and he says uh uh juan he says uh, the police are here to arrest you Oh no! After teaching in Spanish, and so he went. He went east in Chicago, Illinois. I don't know exactly where he landed. Got his PhD, but mm -hmm. he's had with Willie Vasquez mm -hmm. and uh, a, a couple of other uh, gentlemen started this organization 42 years ago. And at this conference, there was 26, 2,600 uh, students from. Uh, 60 some odd uh, high schools and 60 some odd universities. And the most interesting thing that, that for me was that most, I would say, it just seemed like to me that 70 to 80% of, of the students were fluent in Spanish. I mean, even more fluent than in English. So wow. it, was, it was kind of surprising to see that because, you know, uh, second, third, fourth generation, olvídate, they, they forget mm -hmm. it, you know, mm -hmm. they're born with it and are not as fluent as if you're as if you're from a Latin American, South American country, that you come here with with that gift. And and um so anyway, it's it's just uh, just it was just so great to see that pride and and how they were talking to each other, mostly in Spanish when I was walking around. The mm -hmm. whole wow. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's pretty cool when, um, when children keep their culture, you know, I don't know if I mentioned to you, my son didn't want to speak Spanish until he grew up and started working in construction. And he goes, mom, I got to learn Spanish. <laughs> and now, now he's a different person because he knows, he knows how to speak Spanish and he's Guerito, you know, his, uh -huh. his, his dad's from uh, is Cachania from Mexicali. But, um, you know, when they see him, they talk what about him, but he knows everything they're saying now. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what's, what is Cachania? Cachania means you're from Mexicali. Oh, how, how do you say it again? Cachania. Cachania. Uh-huh. See, all those, yeah. It's a, it's a type of tree that grows over there. Oh. We got we got some uh, audience that saying a few things. Noor Nazmi says, you're here, queen. You're here, queen. <laughs> Thank you for being here. We have Betkar. He's from India. He says, good morning. Uh, 
and and Noor has hearts there. And she says, yes, hope is more powerful than fear. And Chris Monastery says, good evening, everyone. God bless. Bless evening to everyone. Hugs and love. Awesome. Now, there's some messages I can't see for some reason. Yeah, uh, StreamYard doesn't show all of them. But um, ooh. sorry about that. It's all uh, right. I'm not doing it. <laughs> We're having technical difficulties here. Um, but uh, yeah, I, ooh, I forgot what I was saying. Let me just, I'm going to have to call you back. Bye. <laughs> sorry. It's all right. Technical that, difficulties. It, technical difficulties. Was that uh, what's the opposite of difficulty? Um, something that's easy. Wow. Easy cult, easy culties. Easy culties. There you go. <laughs> to start a new word, easy yeah. culty. But um, yeah, you know, there's an, another guy from Nigeria says he says he's going to set his alarm at three a.m. in the morning. So he could be here and <laughs> listen. So I think that's so cool. Well, you no, got. I mean, when I started uh, uh, jumping onto some of your, 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 are they uh, what are they considered podcasts or? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just amazing to hear people from all over the world, from the Philippines and Nigeria and and wherever they may be, and I mean they're up. You know they stay up. Or wake up really early just to mm -hmm. jump on with you because uh, they all have a message, man, and they're all brilliant. And it's part of what my mantra is: is that there are no extras in life. Everybody is a star. Everybody is a producer, writer, director, and star of their own life. You mm -hmm. close your eyes, and and the world ceases to exist. So mm -hmm. that's that's the power of if you are that star, then. Uh, you better uh, uh, buckle down and buckle up so your pants don't fall down. Oh, hey, that was a good one. <laughs> I, think, I think Charles Hans, my, my, our friend from Texas, needs – that sounds like something from the from Texas. That Texas – Tejano came out of you, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it always does, you know. I always uh, come out with, with the, the, the malantropes from – you were too young, but the Bowery Boys – in mm -hmm. the 50s and 60s they were on TV they were always saying things wrong and and uh and I'll say stuff like yeah me too either mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yo también tampoco. laughs> I like it it's like a a, a contrast that's opposites right yeah oh, well, we got a few people Pepe your acting in Gino's wife is some of the best acting I've ever seen I appreciate you Absolute legend. Zach, Zach Darius said that. Oh, I thought it was uh I thought it was Aaron Lopez, the director. <laughs> <laughs> he should be here. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I didn't I, I just saw on my on my phone because I'm not the the sharpest tech in, in, in the box when it comes to all this, but I'm gonna start learning quick. Is um that I had all these people to invite and I didn't know I just started hitting all these boxes but I don't know I hit the boxes but I don't know if I sent out the invitation or not but I was in the okay. middle of it Vamos a hacer otra. we'll just do another one we'll yeah do. yeah because <laughs> it's more people need to know uh what you're doing and, and what you're doing yeah what you're doing. we're all doing that way we can know what all of us are doing but but what I'm doing what I've done now I mean, this is this is my 80th year. I'm going to be 80 years old this year, which is crazy, you know. Yeah. Because I have lots of energy. I still have. Uh, you don't look a day over 60. Yeah, a day over 78. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but but uh, uh, and you should have seen me when I was 77. <laughs> uh, no, but well, you do have a lot of energy, and I like yeah. that. Like you're, it's it's contagious. You're very vivacious. Yeah, and it, it's just uh, the luck of the draw because we're all born with with uh, the attributes that, that we have. And so some of us don't know uh, what they are and how to use them, you know. So it's, uh, 
yeah it's that's that's all there's it just putting it out there and making to to write to write the book and and i had help with with the editing and all that because i don't know where's, my where's the book? there it is see uh -huh. and, and it's, it's really interesting because you have some parts in there about when you were filming um scarface and your time that you were in new york so we could talk a little bit about that. We got some questions in the audience. Should we go to that? Sure, sure. Stephen Busher says, what challenges have you faced in life, Pepe? And what realization have you taken away from that experience? The One of the biggest challenges I had once I got with my wife uh, is that my mother spoiled the boys, you know, the Texas mother that did all the work and mowed the lawn while we watched her. And the uh -huh. guy across the sea would get so mad and he would start yelling with his accent. And, and uh, that is that when my wife would make me vacuum and I would be like upset, you know, and, and I knew I said, I'm upset for eight hours before I, and I know it's only going to take me 15 minutes to vacuum. And why did it take me like nine years to finally figure it out? Hey, just vacuum, get it over with. And you won't have to be mad anymore, you know. Uh, but, I mean, that's the real thing, right? I mean, with all of us, with whatever our dilemmas are, is that we do that to ourselves. Yes. And we know the answer. And and it takes us uh, whatever long, however long it takes to, to understand and that to get to, to get past ourselves uh, and and to enjoy the, the fruits and it doesn't even have to be of our labor. Just enjoy the fruit. That that was the best thing. My aunt had orange trees in Kingsville, Texas, and mm -hmm. going back and going back there and just eating as many as, as you wanted to, as you know, in the forties and fifties, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, we were middle class. My my dad had a good job and stuff, but still, it didn't matter. When I was a kid when you get something, it's like candy. You know, those oranges were sweet. <laughs> mm, I, I feel like having one now. Yeah, but they're not as sweet as they used to be. You know, uh, you go to the store and they're all dried out. You know how to? Uh, I found out how to pick the 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 best oranges. Mm -hmm. Is that when you go get an orange and and you you weigh it in your hand, see huh. which one feels heavy heaviest because that's the one that has the most juice in it. Mm -hmm. And I only found that out about five years ago when when. A produce guy told me, yeah, you know how they do the watermelon? You thump the watermelon to, yes. to hear the sound. But mm -hmm. we, we don't believe, we always want them to do it because they have the ear. But it doesn't take that much to learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. But we don't have the confidence to trust ourselves. Yes. And there's so much stuff like that in our lives that, that we go through our whole life having known the answer and not, not knowing that we did. Yes. And you know what? I think what what you what you say when you get older, you're like, "Doggone it! I wasted a lot of time. I could have been happy all that time, right? Yeah. All that those eight hours that you were mad." Yeah, yeah. When and, you and get older, it's it's like, I don't have time to be uh, upset anymore. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, let's move on to the next thing because. Well, what you do? I mean, you work with with Head Start and, and stuff, and then there at the at at this conference. The um, Rebecca Pringle, I think her name was the president uh -huh. of the e EA, uh, EAU, is it the teachers union? There's mm -hmm. three million strong. And I'm talking about, we, there was like some a, a Bible thumping. Uh, let me just get, tell Luis. Uh, uh, hello? I can't hear your phone. Oh, oh, I did. Wait one second. Luis. Yeah, I'm on. The, I'm on. Never mind. Hey, you can't hear me. I can't hear you. Hey, stop calling me. <laughs> That's a, my director of my movie, man, who's really an interesting. He's a Puerto Rican who has written five uh, books. We we gotta definitely get him on next time, and and I'll help. I'll help get him on next time. We'll have a phone call. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because he's really into. Uh, he's he really. I, know, I mean, he interviewed. Oh, uh oh, you can't. 
You kind of. There we go. Yeah, we we went out for a second. He yeah. interviewed, you know, the great Anthony Quinn and and Gilbert Rowland and all the 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 old the 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 ones that came before me. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. But but yeah, so so the book and the documentary are really a testament to to uh, how incredible everybody is. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, and being that I had this gift, knowing what I wanted, and being really, you know, uh, I couldn't get the. They, they, when I first got to town, I auditioned for the part of Sirhan Sirhan, the the oh. guy who shot Bobby Kennedy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and because uh, I looked like him then, and and uh, so I was auditioning, and the director said, "Oh God." That's great. He says, let's, let's do it again. But this time, uh, don't smile. Just don't smile. And I said, okay. You know, and I, I couldn't stop smiling. I didn't, I didn't have the chops to not smile when I was doing it because I'm like, I, I'm just been, I've just had this stupid grin on my face for as long as I can remember. <laughs> just, just riding the, riding that uh, magic carpet of, uh, of lunacy or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. I could see that. You're just too happy, my friend. You can't yeah, help yeah. it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, except when my wife asked me to do something. I learned my lesson, though. I jump on the yes pretty fast. But still, I'm only human. So sometimes I, I, I let myself get in my way. And I love I, your wife. I love her. She's, <laughs> she's awesome. <laughs> so uh Nora's been looking at your background and she says love your background and you got some of those those pictures in your book right oh, yeah in my book and if they go to pepeserna.net mm -hmm. uh, my website uh they can uh purchase i have these anything on there i have uh gicles that that are um uh, they're i think they're like 30 by 20 uh are like 300 bucks and um so tell us the story behind the the picture behind you um, oh this is, this is a interesting nor, nor nor wants to know inquiring okay. minds want to know i call this african sunset mm -hmm. and they're the twins but my wife had gone to get her hair done when we lived in eagle rock near in between pasadena and glendale mm -hmm. and um i painted this jungle this wild jungle mm -hmm. And my wife came home from getting her hair done mm -hmm. when she still drove. She doesn't drive anymore, but, but she didn't like it. And I got so mad that I just, you know, just wiped it all out with red paint, you know, in a fury. And then I, and then I painted these. So the African sense that there's a story behind the story. And, and uh, like in a lot of uh, paintings, they find the sketches, other kind of sketches behind them when they do the, you know, the research and go back in and however they do it, you know. But that, yeah, those are my African sunset, uh, the twins that are that are in that bright red sunset of Africa. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, that's that's the story behind that, and, I, and I'm sticking to it. Awesome. Uh Dr. New says, good, good evening, Angelica and Pepe and everyone. And she says, you look good, Pepe. Thank and you. <laughs> Where is she from? She, um, she, I think she's here. She's here in the U.S. somewhere. I got to I gotta check and see. Uh, uh, I think she's like two hours. I think she's in the East Coast. Yeah. And, and, and also at pepecerna.net. You can you can order the book. It's the only place you can order it from is my website because I I put all this money into it and and to get it done the best. It's, it was like six years in the making. The mm -hmm. documentary was eleven years in the making. Mm -hmm. so it was expensive. I went to get the the best quality I could and and it's um, beautiful. And, it is, it's I, beautiful. I, can't, I can't sell it on Amazon because it's the wrong size. Uh, nine by ten and a half. It's an art book. So uh, now it's you know I have to uh, 
But it's then, an art book and a story because you're talking yeah. about well, what, the, you, what you did. Yeah, they, 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 I've been told that it's four books in one. It's uh, an art book. This is how it looks under. It's beautiful. <laughs> under the cover. Yeah, that's the, like a deep fuchsia, which is which I I like to use. Uh -huh. And it's, it's an art book. It's my uh, my uh, philosophy. Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, behind the scenes in in Hollywood for uh, fifty five years, and uh, my life as an entertainer since I was three years old. So it's seventy six year history uh -huh. of, of, of of my story, and uh, so it's it's uh, yeah it, it's it. but but the once again it's like when when they always want motivational speakers to come in. Uh -huh. For some reason, I because I, I, I love improvisational workshops and I like to get the kids up and get them to discover their voice. Yes. And uh, uh, motivational seems a little self-serving, mm -hmm. but but I'm finally realizing that that I've cut myself off of a lot of uh, gigs because they only have 30, 40 minutes in a school day to to do something. And mm -hmm. I need to really have a good one, at least half a day or a whole day. Mm -hmm. uh, it, send them through all the different configurations of emotions and movement and and getting out, getting getting out of your way, and just uh, uh, you know getting on the fast lane on the highway. And and that's that's where we all that's where we all are. You know, our brains are our thoughts are going everywhere. And that was my problem in school that I was so bad because. I couldn't concentrate. I was just had too many thoughts going on. So, but even though I did the ninth grade twice, I never thought that I was stupid. Mm -hmm. it just, uh, but, but I didn't start reading early enough. I didn't start reading a lot till I started doing the motivational uh, stuff because then, then it, it became important to, to know about, about uh, other people. And I'm just, Something is just popping in my head of of somebody that was that I had just seen that was talking about reading about mm -hmm. oh and when you have problems I forgot who it was if it was at the conference or something just today but to read 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 and 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 uh, if you're having problems and something's going on oh somebody's mother told them and then okay. to read if you run he says how do if I have problems he says read. Read about it and then read about it some more because then you have an opinion and mm -hmm. you have uh, an educated uh, uh, idea of how it is. And then go on, on your feelings. Then you can go with what you feel because now you've educated yourself in that field. Mm -hmm. And what I tell kids about the reading is that even if you don't have the money for college or don't want to go to college or, or want to drop out of high school, whatever it is that happens so much is that you have to be able to read because everybody is brilliant. Mm -hmm. And if you know how to tap into your brilliance is you have to know how to read because on, on this little computer right here, mm -hmm. you can go and find out about how to take apart a carburetor from a, uh, whatever kind of motorcycle it is or, or if you want to design a dress and how, how to do a create a, a pattern or just anything you can you can find out you know you know oh god i wish i knew how to do that it's right there mm -hmm. but you know how to ask your the question yes and and then nobody's there to laugh at you you're by yourself so just that's why there are no stupid questions you know there's just stupid people who won't ask questions <laughs> <laughs> Now I better ask more questions so I won't be goopy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and you know, and I'm I'm talking about myself because there's a lot of times, you know, my wife is much more assertive than I am, and it's just off the cuff uh, knows, you know, what it is, and I'm a little bit of that humble uh, Chicano from Texas that sometimes I won't say how how I feel. Yes. Yeah. Kind of hard to for, my, for me to believe that that I'm can still be that way, you know, when when I know different. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is that you, you have that in you and you understand people. <clears throat> and you could, you can inspire them to do something about it. Right. So that's, yeah. that's the cool thing about being, being a motivational speaker, but I wanted to hear about, uh, you know, your classes. Do you, do you still give classes to children or what, it, what do you oh, do? It, it depends though. Now it's trying to get into to the schools around the country and, and the universities mm -hmm. uh, come in and do these improvisational workshops because it's, it's the Pepified Breakthrough Improv. So it's I want to, I want to go to one of your classes. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and then the, 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 my three, the mantra is connect, communicate, and collaborate. I love it. That's that's what we're doing in life mm -hmm. every day. And and like I tell the kids, you know, when they said, "Do you want to create actors? You want everybody to be an actor, everybody to be a writer?" I said, "I want to. Yeah, I want everybody to be an actor. The best actor that who they who who they have to be." in order to to sell whatever it is you're going to sell in life mm -hmm. whatever company you're working for and it's it's not what you're selling has nothing has everything to do with it but the most important thing in improv is listening and they like the old saying goes that's why god gave us two ears and one mouth mm -hmm. so, you know but that's I, I have more than one mouth, I think <laughs> I, I can start <laughs> stop talking. But but the thing is, is, is to listen, because now I got to know, I say, if you're working at a, at, a, at a clothing store and somebody comes in, oh, yeah, uh, I need a uh, I need a shirt. Oh, what, what kind of is it for a certain occasion? You start a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just like, uh, oh, I, what am I going to, I don't know what they want, what side, you know, but what kind of occasion? Oh, they're going to a wedding. Oh, uh, they, did you want a, a colored shirt, a white shirt, colors? Uh, and then, and then you start this conversation, not to be scared because we've all been improvising our whole life. That's all we do. You don't know what I'm going to say right now. And you, I don't know what you're going to say next, mm -hmm. and, but it's listening to not be so, in love with what you're saying that mm -hmm. you're not listening to what other people are saying, which is the most important part. If you're ever going to get in a relationship and want to keep it is, mm -hmm. uh, is, is listen to your partner uh, and find out what it is and, and not be so, uh, well, you know, I give, you got to give, uh, they say 50, 50, but it's, it's 100%, 100. And then some people say, I'm going to give 150%. A thousand, well, I think 100% is as much as you can do, isn't it? Isn't that the... <laughs> the really, I, I understand what they're talking about, but <laughs> mathematically, 100%. So uh, just just get to that point and, and uh, you're good. It sounds like you're a good listener. And you know why I say that? Because you've been with your wife how many years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, next next month it'll be five fifty five five. Congratulations! Five, five years that we've that when we met, mm -hmm. I got here on March the eighteenth of nineteen sixty nine, and my friend that I had been in the production of Hair with in Acapulco took me her to her door the very next day, March the nineteenth, nineteen sixty nine. Wow, wow, that is that's awesome. I love the relationship that you guys have, and that. It's an accomplishment when you are in a relationship for such a long time. And it just shows that you've been giving 100% and you've been listening. But she's been listening too. So oh, I man, she's, we're together only 22 days apart. She's with me wherever I go. And and uh, she's in the hotel because she doesn't like to mingle that much. And mm -hmm. now she's hard, really hard of hearing, even though we have hearing aids and, and mm -hmm. I'm her hearing aids. I have hearing aids too. I don't have them in right now, but, but I can hear pretty good. But the thing about hearing aids that they say about hearing is that she waited too long uh, before she got it. And it really wasn't uh, an issue of vanity because mm -hmm. she care less. I mean, she's, mm -hmm. that, but that's what happens with most of us. And, and just to know what I found out that if you're hard of hearing, 
the sooner you get hearing aids because once you lose the, the hearing capacity, whatever percentage, you mm -hmm. can't get it back. You can wow. get hearing aids and it's going to help you. But mm -hmm. if you've lost 20% of your hearing, then you're going to have to ramp up your hearing aids 20%. And that, but then 40%, 50% lost 60. You can never hear even with hearing aids uh, as good wow. as before. So it's the same thing with when I got cancer mm -hmm. and, and um, I was doing a movie and I, I, I had the kidney stones and mm -hmm. we were in Salt Lake uh, city and, and uh, we went to the emergency and they took, and the guy said, the doctor said, Oh, be sure to tell your, um, uh, your, your, um, your doctor that, that, that there's, I saw a shadow mm -hmm. in your kidney behind one of the, behind one of the kidney stones. Mm -hmm. So I went to, to my doctor and uh -huh. I told him and he looked and yeah, I had cancer. So boom, went right in to start getting chemo treatment. But uh -huh. it was my wife that it always insists on not just getting a written report, but getting the CD of mm -hmm. whatever CAT mm -hmm. scan or memogram or whatever it is, get, mm -hmm. the, get the CD and she files it. She can't, she, uh, she can't spell because she's got uh, uh, dyslexia. So, but she can break down a lawyer's brief and she's, so that's the whole thing about what is intelligence? What is yes. what are all those yes. things, you know, we're all, we're all different, you know, and, and I ran into, to, I was sitting next to a lady mm -hmm. on, on the plane. And just as we were getting into, uh, into Chicago, I said, Oh, we, we came from, from, uh, from Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. and, but, and then I landed in Vegas. So she went from Vegas and she, and I, and she said, Oh, she says, um, I'm, you know, from, from Guadalajara da, 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 and she lost her husband mm -hmm. four years ago and that he was brilliant and mm -hmm. that he worked, um, uh, as an, in, uh, uh, for engineers, but, he was just smarter than the engineers and that he, he could, he could draw all the plans mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the machines in his garage. And, and then finally she said, no, you're not giving it away anymore. Her, she's the one who had the strength. And, and they said, you, you're going to make it. And then you're going to sell it to him. You're going to sell the machine. You're not going to, and you're going to have the patent. And mm -hmm. they said, you know, and just being too, too ambitious. And mm -hmm. now we don't, we're not making any money for mm -hmm. three or four months. And then yeah. they ordering the machines. She says, mm -hmm. See? And then she had, and his name was Jesus. Um, oh my gosh. Jesus de Anda. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and her, her name was Maria. Jesus, uh, Maria de Anda Trujillo. And, mm -hmm. but, she, they had 76 units. Then they went to McAllen, Texas. But mm -hmm. she, she, man, she, she uh, held her own. And now they have four girls. And the youngest daughter is a PhD mm -hmm. in mathematics there at one of the universities in mm -hmm. Chicago. But, but the husband was brilliant. And I have a friend like that who has created all these patents in wow. Dallas, Texas. From uh, being able to to, uh, to close off the oil wells so that they don't. Uh, uh, let me just tell him if he, uh, he 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 doesn't. Let me see if he. Are you Is there? That Luis? I, we're talking. <laughs> oh man, he. I, I, what I have to do is just stop answering it. But, <laughs> but that's my problem. I can't. I have to answer every call. But that's anyway. okay. That's okay, Pepe. That Maybe. happened to me too. So. You know, I understand. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> but but he, he's kind of pushy that way, you know. Who, Luis? Yeah, Luis is like. Uh, but when he started, he was my my uh, publicist. When we started yeah. off, he was a publicist, an actor, and Walk Proud. I met oh, yeah. him. I guess it was seventy eight, and he was an actor. And then he had an accident, so they made him. I thought, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 it's just, uh, 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 well, we're going to be on the other 
Yeah. Uh, you can answer it and tell him that we're going to be on. Well, I was trying to, but he was having problems uh, uh, um, because it's raining so much in L.A. Yeah. The communication is bad. Uh, yeah. uh, so, so, you know, but anyway, he, oh, yeah, there you are. Hey, I'm, I'm on, I'm on the Zoom call. You keep calling. <laughs> No, no, that's the 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 audio, the audio room. Can you jump on in the audio room? Oh, she has to send me an invitation. Do you have to send him an invitation for the audio room? Yeah, it, ask him. Is he on LinkedIn? No, you're not on LinkedIn, are you? No, it's just a regular email. Usually, people just send me. An no, no, but person. but you have to be on link LinkedIn to oh, get no. it oh, to okay. be able to yeah, do it. Not Okay, well, at least you got on for a little bit because we're live here. So oh, this is Luis okay. Reyes, everybody. That I was just starting to tell your story about. He, uh, he could come on here right uh, without being on LinkedIn, I think, on, on StreamYard. On, but, um, nah, nah, it's okay. We'll next talk time. Soon. <laughs> good luck to you. Keep, have, a, have a good one. Bye -bye. Okay, bye. bye. Yeah. No estoy jodiendo. <laughs> <laughs> I had already ago. But we would. He would be, uh, you know, he's Puerto Rican, so he was, you know, more assertive. So we would go in somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Pepe Serna from that. And I say, Luis, no, please don't. don't. You know, okay. I was you know, playing it low key. But now I wish that I had listened to him and let him uh, blast me out because uh, nobody knows the <laughs> name. Yeah, that's the way <laughs> you get those. But that, that's the thing is uh, of, of uh, not for the ego part of it, but but. Uh, to let the and that's the thing about the book and and the and the uh, documentary is that the people have to know about it that that this is to for help everybody. them to yeah help them. to let everybody know that the pride of it you know and mm -hmm. how if two hundred uh, this is what I told them at at the co at the conference if two hundred and fifty people uh, write a review mm -hmm. to Amazon mm -hmm. that first week mm -hmm. your algorithms take your your uh, uh, documentary right to the front of the line when you mm. log on to Amazon your your documentary or movie will pop right up but it's really hard to do but I met this uh, 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 bad a Chicana teacher from El Paso and she <laughs> said I've got five thousand people and we're gonna do it you know <laughs> but but and, and I believe you gotta her. get everybody on LinkedIn to do it yeah see if you and, let's, and, let's tell everybody on LinkedIn how to do it. I could put it on a post yeah, and, do it. and, and just and, um, give yeah, me the I, information, and then all they got to do is click and write a write a review. We want yeah. we got to all help help you get up there, my friend. And if it's really true, if it, that happens and everybody does it, then anybody that has a project or any project that you like, you can do that for mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. get there algorithms up you know be mm -hmm. then you become i am the studio i am the publisher mm -hmm. for my book and my documentary mm -hmm. and and now uh j-lo is i think she's coming out if she hasn't already got hers out but she had 20 million dollars to do her documentary you mm -hmm. know now i need uh, 20 million uh latinos for my to, to push me you know because mm -hmm. Uh, and that was, I had two series with J-Lo in 93 and 94, where mm -hmm. I played my father. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so if a word could, if somebody has a connection to her out there, because I don't anymore, I was mm -hmm. there at her wedding, uh, I, uh, that she can uh, put out a blast. Anybody out there can blast it out to say, hey, uh, give Pepe a shout out, you know, and, and get their fans to watch it. Because Pepe, we we could do a, a LinkedIn room each week, uh -huh. and we'll get the, we'll get the message out to everybody each yeah. week. Yeah, and and that was the thing with with uh, I had a hundred and thirty something already people that I because I have five thousand followers, but I don't I don't do Facebook and Instagram. I mean I I'm on Facebook and Instagram, but I, you're supposed to put something up every day to keep that whole thing. Man, at the at the conference. I got to do my Ruko Chuko Cholo Pachuco, the mm -hmm. shortened version, 30 minutes. And the kids loved it, man. The, the, the older uh, the teachers and stuff that were there were mm -hmm. surprised 
that I could keep their attention for that long. They said, you know, they're high school kids. It's hard to keep their attention. But oh, yeah. I have a lot of characters, you know, and and, uh, and I, I, I've been doing it a long time. So mm -hmm. I can I can change up the rhythms and and, uh, whoop, and get them <laughs> mm -hmm. pop, pop out and get them going, because that's part of, wh of what I like to uh, teach in the improv. I, I don't you know, I'm, like the word empower always bothered me because it sounds like it's something you're doing. Mm -hmm. right? And and I'm always about what somebody else is doing, you know, mm -hmm. what that they're they're empowering themselves. But I guess it's it's my lack of uh, understanding of the, of the English word empower is that mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking that I'm giving them power when in fact that's not the case, right? I like how you mentioned that because um, everybody can empower themselves, right? Because we have the brain. But I think what happens is sometimes they need somebody to tell them how to do it. Yeah. Right? Or just that they can do it. That, and that, that's, yeah. the first, that's the first step. You can do it. Remember that phrase? You can do it. You can do it. Get it on, cachetón. You know, right on, cachetón. My dad used to always say, right on, cachetón. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it, it's it's uh and the and and what i i do one of the exercises is is just using emotions like mm -hmm. five people give five people five people will give the five people on stage different emotions anger love hate and then i'm at a volume from one to ten so if, if just give me an emotion uh -huh. you give me an emotion to do right now Okay, let's get let's get anger. Uh, and then and then what volume? What's what's the volume? Uh, let's let's, this, let's this at where you raise your hand, like the down or up or. Well, well, we could start. We could start here and then just go. Uh, 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 but you just go, and usually it, it's hard because you know mm -hmm. there. But if you get everybody to do it at once, everybody can do it at once. Because uh -huh. no, if you can you know, you're 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 being blocked by and protected by everybody else doing it. So uh -huh. you get them to do it and just to say your name, say your name. Yeah, Pepe Sarna. No, give me give it, you know, I, I tell them, uh, make your, your voice pop out the, the back of the room. Pepe Sarna. Uh, said, no, you know, so how do you get that to get them? But if you do it together, then they realize, ah, you gotta, you, you gotta go from the gut. You gotta go from the feet, from the, you know, from your ancestors, you know, mm -hmm. coming out. And that's what it was. The, the, the conference was about was, uh, um, um, uh, uh, getting, uh, connecting back to our roots, mm -hmm. to our ancestors, you know, mm -hmm. our ancestors, what they did to get us here. And, and, and we're here, but what they did, and they said, if you go back 400 years, we have 1,094 great grandparents. Mm -hmm. And 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 I said, but hold on to your seats because I'm going to take you back 30,000 years to meet the first a Chicano warrior born after the Ice Age. And the <laughs> Ice Age was only about 13,000 years ago, right? So who, 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 so. Most of the people don't know that, so so shut up. It don't make any difference. No, but <laughs> so you just go back and I say, now let's do the math. Uh, if if uh, if there's a thousand ninety four and four hundred years, then you go to <laughs> you can't get there. <laughs> but you know, you know the the one that they always say. If you you you've heard almost everybody has heard mm -hmm. the, the story about if you double the amount of a penny. Every day, have you ever heard that one? Yeah, I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you double the amount of a penny every day, if you start with one penny, two pennies, four pennies, six pennies, eight, 16, 32, 64, 156, three, and then they say, well, but in 30 days, you're already just very, still very low, but in 30 days, 31 days, you're $10 million. Mm -hmm. if you, you know, if you keep doubling the amount, mm -hmm. that's why, you know, you have to, uh, a, a penny saved is a penny earned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's so true because it's, 
is any fool can spend, you know, and that's when people like my wife, who's very frugal, uh, why I get to be in a great house because we didn't go off and buy a new car mm -hmm. until it broke down and, and we didn't go to fancy dinners still. She still mm -hmm. does, doesn't like it. I mean, I, I can afford to go anywhere I want, but she, she doesn't want to. Uh, mm -hmm. But it just hurts her feelings to have to spend that. But it's just her nature. And so I would have, it would have all been gone because I would give it away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not giving it to you. So don't, so don't even try to think. <laughs> not you. I'm talking to the other people out there. <laughs> but no. But <laughs> I know uh, uh, eating out is expensive. And, you know, my mom used to always say, you know, oh, you no quiero. Oh you know, no, she, and she'll she go with like, you, right? Like my mother would go, like <laughs> I, I interrupted you, but but my mother would go like your mother and <laughs> and, and no quiero nada, and then she's eating off of everybody else's plates, right? <laughs> and then if she orders, if my mom orders something, she'd be like, Oh, this oh esto no sabe bien. You know, yeah. she this doesn't taste good. It, she's funny. Yeah. We got a few people in the room that have a few comments. Shall I read them? Yes, yes, please do. Okay, Stephen uh, Busher, he says, Grace T. Oh, no, Dr. New says hi to Stephen, Grace T., Kenneth. And I can't see Grace or Kenneth. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I can't see your messages sometimes. Stephen says, a fresh orange off the tree is amazing. It is. Yeah. A fresh, I've had those, and they are so good. Uh, Damien Kinsey says, hello, Angelica. Hi, Damien. And Grace T said, uh, is also says hi to Dr. News. So good to see everyone tonight. Steven says, that is a huge statement. We don't have the confidence to trust ourselves when we change that. When we change that, life is amazing. And then Rose, out, Rose says, hi, Angelica, looking gorgeous. You're gorgeous, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> look at the look at the hearts when we are authentic and uh, roll with the challenges of live video and life. Yes. Awesome. Love that. Love that, uh, Stephen. Uh, Chris. Chris says, Texan. Oh, maybe I should wait until you come back. You all right? I listen, I listen. I just, had to, <laughs> I just had to turn on the lights outside. Okay. No worries. <laughs> no worries. So uh, Chris says, Texan. And, and he says, Texas, NH. Oh, I guess um, uh, Grace says, hi, Angelica. Thank you for sharing the wisdom and the inspiring stories. Pepe Serna, great to see you here. Uh, Damien Kenzie, Houston for my, um, for my new friend, Dr. New. Hello, Angelica and Pepe. The airport heading, going to t Dallas and hearing Hearing you guys, that's Jose. <laughs> he's oh, going, okay. he's on his way. Yeah, he's on his way to Dallas. Uh, Chris says, Mr. Steven, you, you right. I forgot what part of Texas uh, was from. Couldn't remember. You got a lot of Texans in here, my my friend. You got a lot of your peeps in here. Uh -huh. Cooper Gate says, the rain, uh, that would include a number of chores, in my opinion, but not the opinions of other. Value is such a a case by case thing, low. Uh, full day with you, my kind friend. That's what he's saying to Jose. Your ability to support is extraordinary. That's nice of him, even though he's on his trip, he's, he's supporting. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. That's what homies do. That's Way to go. 55 years young is very rare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hearing aids can't make you detect particular frequencies that have become nullified. Uh, yeah. The ear can't resonate with them due to the uh, the damage. And he says, Luis does not like the LinkedIn or it's not too useful for him. Because <laughs> Luis, when we told him to go on LinkedIn, oh, yeah, he said, yeah. well, that's not going to happen. So I think Cooper's asking, does he not like LinkedIn? <laughs> he did. He did. You know, he's old school. Uh, and, and you know, he you're doesn't always, know. It's yeah, really you're easy. What you don't know. And um, everything is really, really easy if you know how to do it. Yeah, if you try it, right? It really <laughs> is easy. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
My, I remember that commercial. Martha says, count me in. I'm happy to help push the message out, Pepe and Angelica. So we got the mess. We're getting the message out about your movie, mijo. We're, yeah. we're going to do this. Thank you. Uh, Steven says, thank you, Martha. You rock my sister. Steven says, lovely article. What is your website? So we're going to have to put the website. What, what I'll do um, when we have the audio room is I'll, I'll write the website in, in the audio room, which is, oh, we're only two minutes away from the audio. So let me let me finish here. Um, is the audio continue through, through the... Uh, no, we got to go. We got to go back to LinkedIn for the audio room. Uh, and, and then when we go in there... On the phone? Or, yeah. Or you could do it even on your on no no but can i whatever can you do it through the through the linkedin on on your computer yeah you stay mm -hmm. on the computer and do it yeah you can mm -hmm. oh okay that's that's what i was wondering uh in fact i'll send i'll i'll send you a link so it's easier for you okay my friend you know i need it <laughs> we're here to help out <laughs> oh grace t says from your ancestors i love it and then Chris says, I'm USA, Louisiana. All right, Chris. So Greetings. just remember that when I saw this T-shirt today, Su Teatro is from Denver, Colorado, a great theater. But Su Teatro, man, life, life is our theater, isn't it? It's That's a stage, right? Life is a yeah, stage. Life is a stage. So, <laughs> so what part do you want to play? You want to be the lead? Do it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We could we could pick the part, right? We could uh -huh. pick it. Sometimes we're if we don't pick the part, somebody's just gonna give it to us, right? Uh huh. And say go stand in the corner. You know, <laughs> pass out the papers for me. You know, oh. you, you could stand. <laughs> yeah, go go. Oh oh, uh, 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 secretary, go go print these out for me because they don't know how to do use the printer. <laughs> the boss doesn't know how to use a printer. Right. So anyway, I get it, man. I, it's it's a great message, Pepe. Everyone, we're so thankful that you came. It's already 559 and we got to go into our audio because we want we want to hear you ask Pepe questions. So yeah. that's the beauty. After we have this conversation, you got to hear a little bit more about Pepe. And I, I think we're we're going to be. Oh, it's it's already six o'clock. We got to get in over there, Pepe. Do so, I have to close it? Do I have to close this out? Yeah, we're going to close this out. With, um, I'm going to close it out now. Bye, everybody. Love you, and thank you for coming, and thank you, Pepe. And how are you going to tell me how to do it? on? I'm going to send it to you to, through your um, direct on, on LinkedIn, you know, the messages. 